Hello and welcome to the Christmas Everyday Club. Today we're looking at Jesse Hutch Christmas movies. He starred in a total of seven, but he's also got one coming out this year. So, starting from the the oldest Christmas movie he starred in, let's get on with this, yeah? So, let it snow. An executive examines a company's new property and prepares a presentation to transform the rustic lodge into a new hotspot. She tries to ignore the lodge's festive celebrations during her stay, but an unexpected romance changes her heart. But did you know, Alan Fickle plays Candice Cameron Bure's father. He also played her brother, Kirk Cameron's father, in, in on the sitcom Growing Pains. Bit of goose as well. When Stephanie goes to the fishing shack with Brady, she is wearing black stockings. After they eat at the fishing shack and return to the lodge, she is wearing nude stockings. Did you know that? Did you pick up on that? Then we have Becoming Santa. A woman brings her boyfriend home for Christmas to meet her parents, Santa and Mrs. Claus. He must decide if he's willing to continue their relationship after learning that he'd be next in line for Santa's job. Did you know Meredith Baxter and Michael Gross co-starred on the TV series Family Ties? And a bit of goose as well, every time Connor tries to slide down the chimney, you can see the chimney move while he's climbing on it. Then we have Snowmans. A woman builds a snowman and a little Christmas magic brings her frozen creation to life. She is a true romantic finally gets um, chance at the storybook romance she's always dreamed of. Did you know, a bit of trivia? One of the places Cole mentions at the coldest places, Winnipeg, is where the movie was filmed. Next up, we have A Very Vintage Christmas. And if you if you like any of these movies, guys, and you're a fan of Jesse Hutch, let us know in the comments. If we miss any off, also let us know. Dodie is a hopeless romantic just like the pieces in her vintage antique shop. When Dodie finds a hidden box full of romantic trinkets, she makes it her mission to deliver it to its rightful owner. Following the address, she manages to persuade the handsome but reluctant new tenant, Edward, to help her with her search. There's no trivia or goose for that one, guys. But next up, we have... Christmas at the Chateau, also known as Chateau Christmas. Now, Jesse wasn't the main lead in this, but he's also in it, so I thought I'd add it. World famous pianist Margot returns to Chateau Neuers for Christmas. While there, she reunites with her ex-boyfriend Jackson, who convinces her to headline the annual Christmas concert. But did you know, it was filmed at Fairmont Chateau Whistler in Whistler's British Columbia, Canada. A bit of goose as well. Before and after the concert scene, Margot wears the bracelet on her right hand. However, during her performance, the bracelet is on her left hand. Next, we have... Let... In, in in Love by Christmas, also known as In for Christmas. A successful young woman living in Miami is climbing her way up to the corporate ladder in the hotel industry. Although she doesn't get back to her small northern hometown often, her grandmother is able to convince her to come home for Christmas. No goofs or trivia for that one either, guys. Then, his latest one is Christmas in Toyland which I have yet to see, but I'm dying to watch it. A toy store data analyst tries to save hundreds of jobs right before Christmas to help keep the in-person experience alive. Um, again, no goose for that one. But his newest one, well, the one that is starring in this year, is also co-starring Jen Lilly, is um, Stay for Christmas. And it's due, it's due out on October um, 21st, I think it's going out. But anyway, Stay for Christmas revolves around Tracy Wise, played by Jen Lilly, a renowned luxury travel blogger who is invited by Graham Cooper, Jesse Hutch, to a Christmas getaway in exchange for a review of his family's small bed and breakfast, Silver Peak. Unfortunately though, the humble B&B is facing tough competition from an upscale hotel resort nearby that has been stealing guests and threatening the survival of the family business. 
Are you excited, guys? Will you be watching it? Let us know. And that is it for Jesse Hutch Christmas movies. Be sure to let us know what your favourite movie is down in the comments below. Are you a fan? Don't forget to let us know that. And if, you, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, guys, if you like these kind of videos. And as always, guys, thanks very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.